Religious life is the best kept secret. You must know that. Hey, hey, hey. It's this inner certitude that you get. You just know that this is what God wants. And you're happy and you're grounded and nothing can shake it. Hey, hey, hey. What I found so compelling about religious life, people could love God and serve the church and serve God's people and still be so themselves. There's also just a wondrous sense of support and freedom because you're living with and interacting with people who believe those very same things and support you as I support them. Women and men that really challenge you to grow in a deeper way. And to belong to that is really a gift. Put your the beauty of religious life, there's a wide array of things you can be involved in. What do you like to do? Where are your gifts and talents? And how do you think you can use those talents for helping God's people? My ministry is helping kids to get involved in various service and volunteer activities. Outreach. I work almost exclusively with undocumented people. The ministry of priests in a parish. I was a principal for six wonderful years, and before then, I taught every grade up the line. Open an assisted living residence for the brothers. Director of the community, and administrator of the facility. Teaching almost 30 years of kindergarten. I just loved it retreat ministry, opportunities for spiritual renewal. A nurse to work with the elderly. Food service, rank cafeterias. Chief financial officer at a high school. Put your hands together. Religious life has offered me so many more opportunities that I wouldn't have seen for myself. They've been able to identify in me gifts and ask me to stretch myself beyond my own vision of who I am. And I think that's been extraordinarily graced moments for me. My world is big. It's the congregation which spans the country. I spent three and a half months on Guantanamo Naval Base. Three years in South Africa and also three years in a very remote area of Canada working with First Nations peoples. I went to Uganda, Africa for two months. And we have brothers in South America, Bangladesh, and Brazil. Our sisters are running schools in Argentina and Tanzania, Australia. We house and help with a food pantry in upstate New York, tending to the extreme poor in white Russia, which is on the Ukraine border. We're in Peru, Bolivia, with the intention of coming back to be able to serve immigrants here. We are going to Nicaragua, Jamaica, possibly South Africa, to our soup kitchen in Philadelphia. How do I live my life in a way that stands in solidarity with the rest of the people in the world, and especially those people that have nothing? We make vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience. Poverty is a very freeing vow. To rely certainly on God for our material and spiritual needs it gives us a more simple life. We live simply so others may simply live. Chastity has created space within me to live generously, to live freely. I could never minister the way that I feel free to minister if I was married. So my priority is to love whoever's in front of me, and I have that freedom. Obedience leaves us available for service. Recognizing it's not just what I want and my needs, it's larger than myself. Listening to what God might have in mind for you. Listening to whoever's in charge and listening to your own heart. I sometimes think there's a stereotype of what the religious life is supposed to be like and what they do. We're regular people who like to enjoy life, enjoy our Red Sox. I love music, I love a good play. I like the outdoors, whether it's skiing, kayaking, hiking. I like to bike ride. I also like to exercise at the gym, and I love to go to the movies. Movies and baseball. Play a little golf, I bowl once a week. Sharing a meal with somebody, and then just being with friends. Visits with my family. I'm grateful to be near enough and contribute to the fabric of their lives. I do computer graphic things, I do crocheting. My extraordinary hobby is hot air ballooning and it's wonderful. You can't take the humanness out of the religious. We're all human like everybody else. We've just given our entire lives to God. Put your hands together. I feel very fulfilled. I can't imagine myself doing anything else. 
God loves us. He wants us to enjoy what we're doing. He wants us to take our talents and who we are and go out there and live it. That's what your vocation is. If you have that inclination, it's very important for you to explore that. It can just be the most wonderful adventure of your life, and it can take all that you have to give of love to other people. Go for it. 